Let's also go back to the discussion about unstructured and structured data real quick. So the current state that we had was what you see on the left. We have info returning one ads. The structured format of this would be that we were to be able to extract the log level and also the amount or the number of ads that we serve to the customer. What's the difference between these two? Well, there's a certain need for structured data sometimes. So take this example here. If we have logs like exception of type one, two, three happen, error doing operation through bar or returning three ads, then you can ask questions such as, when did I have an exception? Or what was the last error that my application had? Or things like, show me all logs that contain X. And that's easy enough to answer using structured data. And that's kind of what we did in the previous demo. But what if you have these same three logs, but you want to ask different questions, such as, what are my top five exceptions? What is the most common error? How many ads did I show in the last 24 hours? So anytime you don't want to look at individual documents, but instead try to do some kind of calculation or counting on them, then structured data becomes really important. And there are multiple ways to get the data structured. One of them would be to just use the ingest pipeline we talked about before. And once we do this, we can then build pretty dashboards like this. We're not going to build any dashboards today, but we are going to look at how you can parse your data using runtime fields as they can be really powerful. Benefits of using runtime fields is the ability to add fields to existing documents without any reindexing. So this is really cool. You don't need to index your data again. You can just start working with the data straight away without even understanding how it's structured in the beginning. You can also override values um, from these fields, and you can just define those fields on the fly without modifying the schema. With that said, let's do another quick demo to take a look at runtime fields. For this, we're gonna use the same data that we've had before. Well, we have these logs of the advert service and there's lots of messages in here, like returning number of ads. If we wanted to, for example, sum up how many ads we served in total, or also what the impact was of these outages that we've had around this time, then we need to extract this number somehow so we can count things. The easiest way to do this is with runtime fields. And as a very first step, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna copy one of these documents IDs with um, that relevant message. And then we'll just click here and add a new field to this data view. We're gonna give this a name. It should be of type long and we're gonna set the value. And now we're also going to paste our document ID up here and search for the message. This allows us to quickly preview what our new field will look like. I'll save you some of the typing and just paste things in here, but the general format is always the same. So in this case, we're using another graph expression. We have a graph pattern in here. And if it exists, uh, if we were able to extract something, we will emit this as a value right here. So in this case, you can tell right away that the message down here is then converted into the number of ads. Let's save this field. And let's try to visualize the data in that field. So right away, we can tell if it worked simply by looking at the field in the column, we can see if the message is for returning two ads, it's assigned number two, otherwise it doesn't exist or it has a zero. To visualize, we can simply click on this field name and this now behaves as any regular field in your data. Main difference being, this is calculated on the fly. So it's not modifying your existing data instead it's just being done as you execute the query. Now we can start visualizing this, clicking on visualize here, we get this nice histogram. We're not interested in the median, we wanna have the sum. And if we look at the sum of this data, we can see that on average, um, we see about 400, roughly 400 ads every 10 minutes. And then towards the right here, where we've had our problems, uh, you can clearly see that the service was down in that time and we were not able to serve any ads to our customers. So you saw how easy that was, just adding a single runtime field to our data. And again, this did not require any type of re-indexing or updating, uh, you can just add those fields. Obviously keep in mind that these are calculated at search time. So it needs to always do this operation anytime you search, which also means that on larger data volumes, or if you plan to use this in the future as well, it would make sense for you to just use an in, in, in just pipeline 
or do the parsing in your application as you can, because doing it like that will mean that it only needs to be executed once and then it's stored to Elasticsearch compared to running it every single time you execute a query like this. Just to show you the other solution as well, this is what it would look like if you were to use a pipeline instead. So you would just extend the pipeline by also extracting the log level and the number of ads, in addition to just the timestamp parsing that we've had before.